Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Really hope that you enjoy these and please do consider subscribing if you have not already. I have a ton of other finance um, and stock, you know, related videos. I also have automotive if you want to watch some of those. Um, but anyway, let's get right into it. So today I'm going to go over a review of the JetBlue MasterCard. Uh, it is the no fee uh, JetBlue card. And this is uh, a, a, obviously one of the cards that I have, and I've been really using it and enjoying it since 2014. I have been a member. So for nine years, I have had a true blue card, um, and it is really cool. Um, it's a cool card just because, like I said, there is no annual fee with it. And it has been really, really useful because whenever I have flown on JetBlue, um, I actually only redeemed points once in the eight years because I just used it for Christmas. So over an eight year span, I was building up points in my TrueBlue account by using this card and I only redeemed it once. I still have some TrueBlue points left, uh, but I'll get into that at the end of the video. Um, there is a, uh, an annual fee card. It's like a 90, uh, $99, um, JetBlue card. It's like the JetBlue Platinum, I think it's called. This is just a regular, again, uh, JetBlue, no annual fee card, um, from MasterCard. It's a Barclays card. So Barclays is like a UK based, uh, bank. And so they, um, took it over. It actually used, to, I, I, I still have the card too, but it used to be, the JetBlue, uh, TrueBlue card was through Amex, and then they gave it up back in like 2018, and they gave it over to Barclays to kind of uh, handle and take control of. So I just wanted to go over some of like the better features um, and benefits of this card. Obviously, everything you buy is to go into your TrueBlue account um, at JetBlue. So what you do is when you sign up for the card, you connect your TrueBlue account to your uh, Barclays um, card, like through like the Barclays like online portal. And then that way every month at the end of like your statement period, those true blue points get automatically transferred from Barclays over to uh, your uh, true blue account with JetBlue. Um, and so obviously the biggest benefit, the biggest benefit of this card is zero annual fee. Um, zero annual fee is awesome. Um, you know, just from spending, you know, your money, you get true blue points. That's the way to look at it. You know, and anything you buy, when you buy milk, that equals true blue points. Um, and you don't have to worry about like an annual fee every year and whatnot. So, um, uh, like, uh, that's like the biggest benefit of the card. No annual fee for this one. And with that, your point, um, like accelerators aren't as much as the card with the, uh, annual fee, but it's still something you actually, you still get a benefit. So like, for instance, every time you use this card on JetBlue's website, you get three points for every $1 that you spend on JetBlue purchases. Um, every time you, uh, go to the, uh, what is it? The, yeah, it's the grocery store and then go to restaurants. You get two true blue points for every dollar that you spend on grocery store and restaurants. Um, sorry, I had to get that right. Um, and then you get one point for every dollar that you spend on everything else. So that is, uh, that's a pretty good benefit. Um, you know, those are good multipliers like on their own. It could have just been one point for every dollar that you spend. Um, and because it's no annual fee, but they do give you some benefit. Um, and like the last real benefit is that you get 50% off, five zero percent off of like in-flight food on JetBlue, which is, you know, if it's like a $14 cheese and cracker box, you spend seven bucks. That's not too bad at all. Um, and so those are really like the things to use this for. This is a quick video because this is, again, it's the no annual fee card and I've had it for nine years. Can't really complain. Um, the only thing I mentioned at the beginning of the video that I did want to mention now, now that I'm ending it, um, is that it don't expect to like be able to buy a flight if you don't spend a lot on the card. Like, um, it can cost, uh, for like a $300 flight, I spent, what was it in total about 24,000 points on, uh, like a, like a $400 flight. So don't expect to get much more than that, um, uh, out of it. Like th this is just a, again, this isn't a high multiplier card. You're not going to accumulate points quickly unless you spend a lot of money on grocery store items, 
on you know uh, restaurant items and like you're a high spender every month um but you don't want to pay an annual fee like don't expect too much out of it as far as like your point accumulation you can get a lot better points in point transfers by using other point transfer travel cards you know that aren't the barclays JetBlue card um, so just think of that this is good for what it is like no annual fee but you're not going to get much out of it and don't expect to like in a year of spending don't expect to be able to get even maybe one flight you might have to take two or three years before you build up enough points to actually be able to afford um like a round trip flight to anywhere like in the country so that was it just want to go over that really quickly and hope you guys like this video and i'll see you next time